Hello, my name is Miss Yardley and I am the Head of English at Gosford Hill School. I've been at Gosford for nearly nine years now and I've been teaching the English Language and Literature A-Level course for about seven years now. Um, in that time, I've seen the course become an increasingly more popular choice of A-Level. Um, to give you some idea of my credentials, I have a first class honours in English, Language and Linguistics. So I feel confident that I can develop your understanding of how language works. I co-teach this course with Miss Clifton, who also has a degree in English Language and Literature. So given our experience, we really do celebrate the opportunity to teach the combined approach to studying English. Because when English, Language and Literature are taught as a cohesive subject, it really does result in a rich discipline. So what is English language and literature? Well at GCSE you study English language and literature in isolation, but I would argue that the two really are not separate disciplines. The combined approach aims to draw together the skills, the knowledge and the concepts from both English language and literature providing us with a robust set of tools that we can use for interacting with any text. I really do believe that in order to carry out a rigorous analysis of a literature text, you really need to be able to carry out a rigorous analysis of the language that has been used by a writer. So, what will you study? Um, there are two papers for the English language and literature course and I'm going to break it down by paper for you. So on paper one we study a Voices in Speech and Writing anthology and this includes a wide range of fiction, non-fiction and digital texts. Now in the exam you'll be asked to compare one of the texts that we have studied with an unseen text that we haven't studied but what you'll be really looking at is how a writer creates a sense of voice, or in other words, how do they establish a sense of their personality or express their opinion in the text. We also study a brilliant play written by Alan Bennett, and it's called The History Boys. Now in this exam, you'll be given an extract from The History Boys, and you will analyse the genre conventions, because it's a play that will be slightly different from some of the other texts that we look at. Also the language, but also the social and historical context. So that's paper one. Now paper two, uh, we study Othello by Shakespeare. Um, we also study The Great Gatsby by Scott Fitzgerald. Um, in this exam, you will be asked to compare the presentation of characters from both texts. There is also an unseen element of this exam and you'll be given a non-fiction text. And what we look at there is how contempor contemporary societal issues are presented in the text. And um, both, uh, or all of the exams are actually open book, which what that means is you'll have a copy of the book with you. So that adds that extra layer of support for you. Both exams are equally weighted, they're both worth 40% respectively. So in summary, what we're actually looking at is how writers use language and literary devices to create different meanings. We also consider how social and historical contexts influence not only the writer and the decisions that they make in their own writing, but also how an audience or a reader interprets that text. Now, you're probably asking yourself the question, do I choose English literature or do I choose English language and literature? They're both excellent subjects. And for me, what differentiates English language and literature is the coursework element of uh, English language and literature. You have an excellent opportunity to show off your writing or your creative writing skills. You get the opportunity to produce a fiction text and a non-fiction text um, of any theme of your choosing. And some of the popular themes in the past have included crime and punishment, uh, feminism, 
war, travel, so some really exciting themes that you can really get your teeth into. Um, you will then write a, an evaluative commentary about your own writing, so where we've analysed other writers like Scott Fitzgerald or Shakespeare in the past, you actually get the chance to comment on your own writing about the decisions you made in your text. And the coursework element is worth 20% of your final A-level grade. So what doors does language and literature open for you? There are a whole range of career paths um, that you can go into, particularly because the language and literature course really does develop your communication skills, both in writing and reading. So just to list some of the jobs, you could go into advertising and marketing, journalism, publishing, law, business, teaching, of course, and also politics. So I just thought I would finish by reading out what some of our students have to say about the course. And one student said, A-level English language and literature has taught me how to critically analyse every piece of writing that I come across. It fascinates me how much a writer can voice in just one sentence. And another student wrote, I love that A-level English language and literature has much smaller classes than at GCSE level because you're able to really engage with what the teacher is talking about and get that extra support from them when you need it. So thank you for listening to my presentation and I look forward to welcoming you to English Language and Literature in September. Thank you.